Well hey there everybody welcome back to another tutorial. As you see in this video we'll be doing a hotel. This will be a two part tutorial. I hope that you all enjoy this tutorial. If so please drop a like down below. Now let's get this started. Well hey there everybody and welcome back to another video. As you see we will be doing a hotel and also this will be part one of two videos. Part two will have all the extra details including the pool and everything else around the building. Now I'm on the PS4 using the modern HD texture pack. Now these are the main blocks I'm going to be using. So make sure that you have the mossy cobblestone or something similar to this color or this texture block. Also white terracotta so again something similar to this color and texture as well and then also a black block of choice. I'm going to use the black wool you can also use black concrete as well. Now this building is roughly going to be 70 by 145 and that's going to be the foundation that I have laid out right here. Now as you see right down here on the foundation I have different colored blocks. I have these black blocks, I have these white blocks, and I have some other blocks over there and on that end as well. And what I mean by those blocks are going to take place of what we have here. So what I have on the foundation there, so I have these black blocks, where I have these black blocks, that's where we're going to be placing these blocks here. Where I have these, that's where we're going to be placing these, and so on with these, we're going to be using the black block of choice. Alright, so right here is going to be the front main entrance. I'm going to have a side entrance on the right side, a side entrance on the left side, and just small entrances to the back. So you're going to come to the main entrance to the front of the building all the way to the left on this corner. Right here. So again where we have these block blocks we're going to be placing these. So again on the front left corner and as well when you place these down place them straight on your pavement or your uh, parking lot. Because we're going to go later on and place these slabs around the building for the sidewalks. Also this hotel can be any hotel that you want it to be. It can be a Hilton, a Hamilton, Holiday Inn, whatever that you want it to be. You can just change the name of it or how, however you want it to, to be. So right here on the front left corner we're going to be counting this block. Going on down you're going to have 21 blocks to this corner. So go ahead and place your 21 blocks down here. Now once you've got that then you're going to go right over here and you're going to add two blocks. Now counting this block here as being one you're going to go to the right 24 blocks to here so go ahead and place your 24 blocks down. And once you've got that, then you see we're going to have these blocks here, which again we're going to place the white terracotta on. So three, come down, and then another three. So a two by three. And to the right of that, again with these bricks here, or these mossy cobblestone. Counting this being one, you're going to have seven blocks going on across to here. Now go ahead and place a white terracotta here. Again with these blocks, you're going to turn it this way. And you're going to go one, two, three, four. Turn this way and you're going to add two here. All right. Now right here off this corner you're going to go one, two 
And then right here, you're going to have another 2x2 two two there. So looking down at it, you see we're going to have two blocks in the flower bed to get this 2x2 two two, and then two blocks from there. Alright, now right here is going to be the front entrance, the main entrance. Make sure that you have nine blocks in between here and here. So that's a nine block space. And then you're going to have here three blocks. Behind that, you're going to add one, two, three, four. And then, once again, the white terracotta right here. And then now, with the mossy cobblestone, you're going to have seven blocks, counting this one, going on across to here. And then again, the same thing with this 2x2 two two is what we've done over there. So again, two blocks from there, a 2x2 two two there. And then also, as you see, two blocks from there as well. Now down here, you're going to have the white terracotta once again. A 2x3. Again, the same as the other side. Now again, with the mossy cobblestone, counting this as being 1. You're going to come on across to the right. 24 blocks to this corner right here. We're going to place those down. Alright. Once you've got that, then you're going to go behind there and place two more. Alright. Now, this one, you kind of count this one as being one. Going to the right, you're going to have 26 blocks to this corner right here. So go ahead and place those down. Alright, now we're going to have a small entrance right here. Add two blocks, have one block space, and then one, two, three, four. I'm going to turn to the right. You're going to add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm going to turn this way. And as you see, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. And then again with the white terracotta, I'm going to have 2 by 3 right here. Now right here is where we're going to have these different colored blocks. This is where we're going to be placing the black block of choice. Again, the black wool is all I'm going to use. Three right here. Right here is going to be the entrance. So what I'm using is the half slabs, the same as I have the sidewalk. And what I've done was I just doubled them up right here, as you see. Now just make sure you're going to have your black wool here, or your black blocks, three more on that right side. All right, now once you've got that, then you're going to take the white terracotta, and again right here, the same, a 2x3. Now with the mossy cobblestone, counting this as being 1, you're going to go to the right, a total of 27 blocks to this corner right here. So go ahead and place those on down. Alright, now going towards the back of the building here, this is going to be like a little electrical area. So you're going to turn this way. Counting this one as being one, you're going to come on across a total of 12 blocks. And then you're going to turn this way here. Again, counting this one as being one, you're going to come across again another 12 blocks to this corner. 
Now we'll get to all this area later on. We're just doing the foundation for now. Now you're going to turn towards the back here. This is where we're going to have a little box truck entrance. Now a hotel is not going to be like a grocery store or a Walmart. They're not going to have a big docking uh, shipment area for 18 wheelers. So this is ideal for this. Just a small little uh, bread truck type delivery truck entrance there. So this here, you're going to count this corner block being one. You're going to come to the right. A total of 16 blocks to right here. Alright. And once you've got those down, then you're going to have your entrance here. I'm using the light gray wool up under. A total of five blocks. I'm going to be using the in stone brick walls for the actual door itself, but again, we'll get to that later. Alright, now to the right of that, counting this one as being number one, we're going to go to the right, a total of 37 blocks to this block here. Alright, so let's go ahead and place those down real quick. Now don't let this here get you confused. This is like a privacy wall or a border wall to keep everything separated right here. Now right down here, going to have a back entrance. Total of four blocks. Again, I'm using the light gray wool down here. So I got four blocks here. And now once again, the mossy cobblestone here. This is being one. You're going to come on down. A total of 20 blocks. And you get to this corner right here. I hope that you all are enjoying this build so far. If you are, please drop a like. And thank you for all the support. Alright, now. Once you've got that, then you're going to come back here. Total of seven blocks. Counting this as being one. Come on across to this corner there. Then you're going to turn this way. And again, counting this one as being one. Coming on across. You're going to have a total of 25 blocks to right here. Let's go ahead and place those down. Alright. Now right here, we're going to have another small entrance. Again, four blocks with the light gray wool. So go ahead and place those down there. And then again with the mossy cobblestone, this is being one. Going on across, total of 15 blocks to this corner right here. Go ahead and place these down. All right. Making our way around this side here. This block, this corner here will be counted as number one. Going to the right again, we're going to have 28 blocks to this corner right here. Now, like I said, this hotel can be any hotel that you guys want it to be, which makes it really, really cool build as well. Now once you've got those down, then you're going to turn it this way. And let's go ahead and add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Turn it this way. And as you see, we're going to have 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then again with the white terracotta, another pillar here, a 2 by 3. And then again with the black block of choice, you're going to have 3 here. And then the same as what we have on the other end, right down there, the same kind of idea with the double up half slabs. And then once you've got this three here, you're going to have three more black blocks there. And then the two by three white terracotta right here. All right. Now, once again, with the moss cobblestone. One, two, three, four, five. 
turn this way, you're going to add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then as you see, we're going to have three blocks, another small entrance, so one block space. And then we're going to end up right here with two blocks, right here where we first started off at. Alright, now once you have your foundation on down, then now let's go ahead and come right out front where the main entrance is going to be. And we're going to plan out where these pillars right here are going to be as well. So the easiest way of doing this, again, right here is where the main entrance is where we have these nine blocks space right here on the very front. If you come to these three blocks right here and these three blocks right here, on both sides of this entrance that is where we're going to be counting from so this block right here counting this one as being one if you count across a total of 15 blocks so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and fifteen then that means number 16 is going to be the mossy cobblestone. And make sure that you have it lined up perfectly right here just like this. So if you count from that block, come straight down. Make yourself a 3x3. Three three. Now these three blocks is going to be lined up with those three blocks right down here. So, it's very important that you have everything lined up correctly. Now, you're also going to be doing the same on this side here. With this 3x3. Three three. And, again, these three blocks are going to be in line with these three blocks as well. Very simple and self-explanatory. But just make sure that you have everything lined up. And, also, the same on the distance and these here going this away between them is going to be one two three so one two three four five six seven eight nine blocks in between all right so go ahead and place your three by three here now once you got those placed you see we're gonna have a two by two here on that side and on this side as well so right here you're gonna come to this top part here you're gonna count two blocks and then a two by two all right and then right down here as well so right here two blocks and then a two by two just make sure everything is lined up correctly all right now once you have that then now let's go ahead and come right down here and you're going to simply take all of this mossy cobblestone, this block, another two layers on up. And you're going to do that all the way around the build. Anywhere that you have this block, you're just going to go ahead and make two more layers. So go ahead and do that all the way around the build. All right, now once you have that all the way around, then now let's come right down here. And what we're going to do is going to grab this white terracotta. Now I place these all the way around the build here on these pinpoints. And I'm going to explain something real quick. So from right here, you're going to go up two layers. So two layers like this. From right here, going all the way down to this point. So all this, two layers on top of that going to do two layers on right here and then right here two layers all the way down this is going to be a pillar going up so you can just carry that on across you're going to have the two layers going down to there and then this way the two layers will come on across this way as well skip this entrance here come here two layers there on this side as well 
And then here, you have two layers. Again, this will be a pillar, so go ahead and carry them all the way down to this corner. Right back here again, carry these down. Two layers to this corner. Or on this side here as well, two layers. Carry those across. And now we're going to have a new block to use. The light gray terracotta. So again, if you're in a different texture pack, try to use something of this color that matches. Not match, but goes well together is what I'm trying to say. So from here, this is going to come across. Again, two layers. You're going to turn this way. Again, two layers there. Skip this entrance here. And then we're going to go back to the white terracotta. Again, two layers. Go down to this corner. Carry those down. This corner here as well. The two layers to here. That'll come on across. This back corner as well. Alright. And then along the back here. Again, two layers. Obviously, when you get to this door, you're just going to stop. Because we're going to come back and do this door. But right here, again, two layers. Carry them on down. Again, obviously, we're going to have an entrance here. So wait on that. So two layers there. Here, they'll come on across to this corner. Across this way. And instead of me saying, oh, just take these two layers all across the building, all the way around. Well, there's this light gray terracotta involved. So that's why I didn't do that. I didn't want no one to get confused. So these two layers again to here. Fill those in again where I have this entrance. So follow along here. Go to this corner. Turn this way. Again, those will come to here. And then this is where this light gray terracotta comes into play once again. So when you get to this corner here, the white terracotta will come here, going across. And then the light gray terracotta will come here. And it will come across this way. This way as well. Just like so. And never mind my birds in the background, I'm sorry. Now right here, you're going to skip this entrance as well. Just like what we've done on the other side, we'll come back to it. And then again, the light gray terracotta here. And then they will go along this side as well. Come along this way. And again, just like this. Now if you've done that correctly, when you get to here, you're just going to simply have these on across. So go ahead and do that all the way around. All right, now as you notice, we have some layouts for some windows across the front here. We're going to come down here to the very front left corner where we first started off at. And we're going to go ahead and start here with the window layout. Now these window layouts will be placed right on top of what we have here. These two blocks of white terracotta. Now we're going to be using the black wool or black concrete. Also granite wall in this texture pack they're black. If you don't have this texture pack just use a different type of wall. And also your choice of glass panes. I'm going to use the cyan. Again the front left corner over here. Or we have these three blocks, one, two, three. Go to place those down. Then with your black block of choice, one, two, three, four, five. And on each end, we have a wall. And then you have your three glass panes in the middle. Now, all these windows will be the exact same. So, just like what I've done here, the five black on the bottom 
the wall on each side and the three glass in the middle you're gonna copy that same thing you're gonna have three blocks in between another window template three more blocks in between another window template and then here you're gonna come on across so on this side you're gonna have three window templates all right now once you got done with that section you're gonna come across this way and you're gonna count one two three now this section you're gonna have one two three four window templates and like I said they're gonna be three blocks apart so place those down there and right here you're gonna have two blocks alright now once you've got that then now take this on up for now just leave it right there this one in the corner take on up for now leave it there carry this on across go on this side carry this on across along this way take this one up in the corner on up and this will pretty much be the same so you have four window templates here just like what we've done on that section so you're going to do the same thing on that and there are also going to be three blocks in between and this as well will be brought up so go ahead and do that now once you've got these four window templates then you're going to have three right here just like what we have on the other end so three right here and again everything will be the same so you have two blocks there this will come on across three blocks this way these will be three in between pretty self-explanatory let me know in the comments what color glass did you guys use also what texture pack are you guys building in and this will come on across just like that all right now once you've got those window templates across the front and now let's move along to this side we're going to do the side and around the back so right off here where we have the front I'm just going to carry this along this way and then you're going to swap back over to this block come along this way and once we've got that then we're going to move along past this entrance to this side you see we're going to have the same style of window they're all going to be the same distance apart as what we've been doing everything's the same and as you see we're going to have three of them right here right here you're going to have three blocks again with the five black three glass panes and wall on each side three in between window three in between another window and on the end here again three on the end all right now along this side here we're gonna have a smaller section window like for a bathroom so right here we're gonna have one two three four and then again the same window design just smaller so instead of five it's going to be three and then just one glass pane in the middle and then you're going to have one two three four five there and then you're going to turn this way and you're going to have one two three four there again the same small window here is what we have here and then you're going to have one two three four blocks there now once you've got that then you're going to turn this way and then you're going to have one two three four and then we're going to come back with the 
regular sized windows with the five black and the three glass panes and the wall on each side. Now once you've got that, then you're going to take this block here, one, two, three, four, five, six, right there. And then you're going to skip this section here. Go along here, one, two, three, four, five, six. Here as well, you're going to have the same five with the black, three glass panes, three blocks in between, another window. Three blocks in between, another window. Three blocks in between, another window. So this section, you're going to have four windows. And then right here, you're going to have two blocks. And then you're going to have this opening for this entrance. And we'll get that later. Then you're going to have two blocks here, another set of windows. This section here is going to have overhang, as you see. So what we're going to do here, the windows are going to be the same, what we've been doing. I'm just going to tell you how many windows we're going to have. So if you start off right here, having two blocks, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sets of windows. Again, all three blocks in between. Now once you've got that, and as you see, they, they're going to go in a straight line here, and we're going to have like overhang for up under. Alright, so once you've got all those windows, then the right side of this last window here, you're going to have a total of 8 blocks right here, going to this corner. Alright. And then you're going to come right on this side and counting this block being one, you're going to go to the right, another eight blocks, and then you're going to get to this window. So again, from here to here is eight blocks as well. On this section, you're going to have three windows. Again, they're all the same, three blocks in between as well. And then right here where we have this corner, we're just going to come up right here like this to help support that. So this is what you should have now. Alright, now once you've got these three sets of windows on across, then now let's go ahead and get this section. All right, now for this entrance here, what we're going to go ahead and do, straight off the bat, take the full block of glass and try to use the same type of glass that you use on the windows. So I'm going to use the cyan full block glass here. They will go right on top of this black, these three across, and these are going to be a total of four high. So one, two, three, four. Alright, now once you've got that, then you're going to take this and come up six more blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And you're going to do the same thing on this side as well. And you're going to bring these pillars on up the same height. Again guys, if you do like this build or video tutorial, please drop a like down below. Alright, so once you bring these on up like so, then now what you're going to go ahead and do is grab your birch stairs. Now again, if you're in a different texture pack, try to use a stair or wood choice that kind of matches the same kind of colors that we have. So this has... This blends very well with these blocks as well. So try to pick something that kind of blends together and makes everything flow very nicely. So what you're going to do is go ahead and come right here with this upside down birch stair. One block from the top and go ahead and carry this on across. 
just like this here. Now once you've got that, then you're going to take some iron trap doors. You can also use the smooth quartz slab. But I'm just going to go ahead and take these on a cross. Just like this here. And you're going to have to crotch place these inside of here. And then once you've got that, then you're going to come on the outside here. And then you're going to have to go ahead and carry these on across. And again, you have to crotch place when you place these. And you're going to overhang each side by one block, just like that. All right, now once you've got that, and again, you're going to use the same style of windows as what we got here. So use the same style there. So what you're going to do is come right here in the middle. So you've got these three blocks here. So here's going to be in the middle. You're going to come right here. And you're going to go one, two, three, four, five. Again, the same window design. So wall on each side. And then your three glass panes in the middle. Now remember, everything that we've done right here on this entrance, you're going to copy right down there on the other entrance on the other end as well. So make sure that you do that. And also, this is going to come on across this way, just like this. Carry that on across. And right here as well. So go ahead and carry this on across this way as well. That way everything is nice and even. This will come on across like this. And again, what we have all right here, Everything the exact same it's just gonna simply come right down here and do the same exact thing on this entrance as well All right now once again this entrance on the other side should look the same So once you've got all this the exact same as the other side both ends then now let's move over to the front main entrance Right here, which is gonna be really simple Make sure that you have these nine block space in between. Now I'm going to use the light gray stain full blocks in this texture pack. This is what they look like. They match the spruce doors in this texture pack. They're glass as well with the black trim. So again, try to come up with something that matches as well. So what you're going to do is you're going to take that glass block. And you're going to go right in the middle right here and come up by three blocks. Then you're going to take your door choice. Again, the spruce doors what I'm using. And try to place them where they open like this. And then you're going to go ahead and place your doors down like this. And then you're going to take your glass blocks on up like that. Up and over the doors. this side as well now again this is what you should have once you've got that then now take your black wool go right on top of that glass and then you're going to go ahead and take this block white terracotta and just go right on top of this well, all right now real fast i'm going to go over everything before we end the video for part one and get all the surrounding areas just like i'll have mine now, right off the bat, I want to show you right up here up front how I have mine. So, as you see, I textured everything with the coarse dirt, the soul sand, regular dirt, and the dirt path. Now, the slabs I use are the smooth stone slabs. As you see here, now looking down at it, you guys can pretty much see for yourself. There's nothing to it. Pretty easy and simple, self-explanatory. They go straight on down and both ends are the same. Now when you do your bushes and detailing, just don't overdo it. Now on the entrance here on both left and right side, it's pretty much the same, but we're going to go to the right first. Right here we have the slabs. We have the flower bed. The slabs are a single slab going down. And then they double up right here. They go on down and then here will be a maintenance area and we'll get to that in part two. For now, go ahead and fill in this pad with smooth stone blocks. Now once you've got that, 
Then have the slabs going on across here again with flower bed there. Double these up. They go on down. These are doubled up here. Or you can use a full block of smooth stone. These slabs will double up going on down again with the flower bed up against the building there. And then they'll go up against the wall here like that. Now we'll get later on on this area. The, again, this will be an uh, electrical area. I have the full block of smooth stone to block in over here as well. I use the light gray concrete powder on this. Again, I'll probably do this off camera and then just showcase it in part two. There'll be nothing to it. This area here again is for the shipment or delivery right here. Now I use the light gray concrete powder also textured with the white concrete powder. The parking lot itself is anisite textured with a little bit of stone. Now I'll go over more of everything like the parking lot and such in part two. Also with the hot tub and the pool and the uh, bar area. So right over here, we have the slabs again going on down. We have a mossy cobblestone wall there. And again, we'll go over the rest of the stuff in part two. And we have these slabs double up going on down all the way around here. These are double up as well going on down. And again, we have a nice little pad area and we will go over all this later on so again fill all this in and go ahead and put an iron door in here that will be for maintenance so we'll cover that in part two as well so these slabs will double up around this way again with the flower bed and everything else i hope that you all enjoyed part one please guys let me know in the comments what you think thank you again for watching and i'll see you all in part two